Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Tony from Nerd Ruckus, and I am hanging out with the 80s star from the Gremlins movie, Zach Galligan. What's going on, man? Just kicking it. <laughs> kicking it, man. Uh, we interviewed Zach, uh, we interviewed you a couple of years ago, man, in uh, Walker Stalker. How have things been since then? Things been good, man. Um, what was that, 2015? Yeah, about 2015. Yeah. So, moved down to Atlanta. No way. Completely changed my life around. Got a lot more money now that I don't have to pay, for the, you know, 50% more to live in Manhattan. Right, right. Um, everything's cool. Got a new agent down there. Awesome. Got a couple of pictures coming out. Everything's kind of flowing and feeling really good. All right. What, anything you can tell us about it? What's coming out? Is it all on the... Sure. Uh, no, no, no. It's it's good. I did... Um, uh, Jason Mewes uh, did his directorial debut called Madness in the Method. Okay. So he's he's uh, directs and stars in that. And obviously Kevin Smith is in that, Stan Lee, Danny Trejo is just sitting over there, oh, awesome. um, Vinnie Jones, Terry Hatcher, Judd Nelson, oh, Casper wow. Van Deen, uh, me, uh, blah, 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 blah. who am I forgetting? There's yeah. like a ton of people. Ton of, ton of people. It's a lot of fun, really funny, really silly, and hopefully it'll come out next year. Hell yeah, man. Good for you. Congratulations. Thanks, dude. What's Method uh, in the Madness. Ma Method in the Madness. Nice. All right. And, uh, no wait, madness, madness in the method. Madness in the method. There you go. Right. <laughs> okay. So, uh, question for you, man. You you said that uh, Gremlins three, the script is done. Script is done. Um, you know, now here's the thing. You can say script is done. Doesn't mean they'll do that script. Right, right. Script is done. They could read it and go, we don't want to do this. So that you know what I mean. But Chris Columbus's first draft is done. And they gave it to Warner Brothers. And Warner Brothers looked at it. I don't, you know, I'm not privy to Warner Brothers' internal discussions. So I don't know whether they liked it or didn't like it. Yeah. But let's just put it this way. We're closer to a new Gremlins movie than we have been in 25 years. Awesome. So, you know, it still may not be this one. still may take another couple of years to get up and running. But it seems like, uh, it seems like... Warner Brothers is a little bit more serious now than they have been in the past. So, if it's going to happen, it'll happen in the next five years at the most. And the soonest it could happen is, you know, I mean, they could announce it next month. So, anytime in the next probably three years, but it could be up to five years, you know. Okay. I mean, here's the thing. They don't want to screw it up. You know, they want it to, it, it to be good. They don't want to just run something out there. That you know, they feel like they, they kind of feel like they screwed up the franchise with the second one because it's so different from the first one. So I don't think they want to make that mistake. They want a script to be good. They want it to probably be like a combination of old stuff and new stuff. They want it to be affordable, and they want to find the right director and the right script and the right everything. So they're not, they're not rushing. Okay. So is the idea to retcon? You think uh, Gremlins two, and like make it a direct sequel to the first? I really don't know. My, I think the idea is to Jurassic World it so that yeah. it just starts years ahead in the future, but it references the mythology and it references, references the past two movies, but isn't really any kind of outright continuation. Okay. All right. They kind of did a little bit with that with the recent Halloween movie. It was like, did they? Like a long time, like 40 years after. But, but they referenced like the pe events from the past, right? Right. Well, somewhat. Yeah. Somewhat. Yeah. Yeah. That, that new Halloween movie is more of a direct sequel. Like, is it to the first? Yeah. It's, it yeah. Was, it was cool. It was. It was good. I, I liked it. Yeah. 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 And the, the resurgence too of you know a lot of like '80s themed stuff like Stranger Things and um, Cobra Kai and stuff like. What sure. Is, what's your favorite '80s movie? Do you like the new stuff? Do you like the old stuff? Like, what's your favorite '80s flick? Because a lot of people still love that type of culture. Which yeah. Is how these new things are succeeding. Well, you know, I love Kurt Russell, so I love The Thing. Oh, yeah. Um, that's great. Big Trouble, Little China is great. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. that's, uh, the best. That's, the best. that's really good. Um, Escape from New York. All of those Carpenter movies are great. Um, I mean, you can't go wrong. Back to the Future is great. So good. Buckaroo Banzai is great. <laughs> yes. Um, little known movie that John Landis did with Jeff Goldblum and Michelle Pfeiffer, Into the Night. That's a kind of trippy one. That's a good one. That's a weird one. Um, After Hours, Scorsese with Griffin Dunn and <laughs> Rosanna Arquette. That's a good one. So there's, yeah, there are a lot of great, a lot of great 80s movies, you know? A lot of, a lot of really good ones. And one last question for you. Sure. Every once in a while, I reach up and realize I forgot to shave. Why hasn't everybody, anybody made a bathroom buddy yet? 
I have no idea, man, why people haven't you know imitated a lot of the inventions that that are in the the flick because. Like, I still would love to have one of those egg crackers, you know, with the thing like the, that I use. That thing was cool, man. I wanted one of those. Yeah. So maybe one day people take those Peltzer, uh, what was it, imaginary ideas for... We make the illogical logical. We make the illogical logical. <laughs> yeah. Imaginary ideas for something future. Yeah. Yeah. I can't even remember it anymore. Oh, fantastic ideas for a fantastic world. There yeah. you go. Fantastic ideas <laughs> yeah. for a fantastic world. Yeah, man. All that stuff, so. man. They, they should do some of those because they were cool, man. The Peltzer Peeler Juicer. Yeah. That one was awesome. I like how every time something broke, we just go... Yeah. Oh. So, Zach, thanks again for taking the time to talk to us, right, man. Guys, Always a man. pleasure. Appreciate it. Thanks, thanks guys. Man.